This morning for our prayer time together, we are going to um, have a type of experience together. Um, it's a, a prayer station, you might call it. Um, if you have access to a rock and a washable marker, um, get a rock, get a washable marker. And I want you to prayerfully consider who it is that you um, might consider having a grudge against or scripture considers it an enemy. Um, is there someone that you're holding animosity to in your hearts? As we continue this morning to look at Romans chapter 12, 9 through 21, we consider those enemies, um, those for which we hold that um, a place in our heart that's not of God um, that we need to let go of. So as you consider who that person is, we're going to go down to the river to pray. Um, I have written um, some people's names on my rock. It's a washable marker. <clears throat> and um, we're going to consider this verse from Luke <clears throat> 6, 27 and 28. But I say to you who hear, love your enemies. Do good to those who you hate. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. I want you to meditate on that verse and put down the name of someone on your rock. And if you don't have a river to go to, to watch that name dissolve in that water, then take it to your sink and watch that name dissolve um, in, the, in the sink. Because God truly can wash away the pain and the hurt um, slowly, it takes time. But we have to begin somewhere to give it to God. Um, so, hope you'll join me at the river. So as you hold your rock, I invite you now to say a prayer of blessing for the person that you wrote down. Gracious Lord, wash away our sin. Forgive us when we hold grudges, for that's not how you created us. You are a God who forgives, and so you call us to forgive. So, Lord, help us one step at a time to wash away the pain in our hearts and the animosity that we have held on to. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, let your cleansing spirit, one step at a time, heal our hearts. And now let us pray together that prayer which Jesus taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.